This is Toma Gymnasiet, a public upper secondary school, year 10 through 12, and one of Sweden's oldest schools. Welcome! My name is Gustav and I'm a teacher here at Toma Gymnasiet. And it's a pleasure for me to take you on a tour around the premises of our school. Close to the school's main entrance is the reception, where you can find the administrative staff and the offices of our principal and vice principals. This area is the administrative heart of the organization. This is the place from where the leadership of the organization, as well as the day-to-day -day essential administrative work, originates. This is the school's library. Every school in Sweden is obligated to provide a library for their students. And we're proud of having such an extensive collection of literature at our teachers and students' disposal. This is one of our most common types of classrooms. The classroom is digitalized since every student works with their personal computer provided by the school. These particular classrooms are home to the students of the social science and economics program that prepare them for higher education at university. We are now at the top level of the school, where we house classrooms designated for science and technology. All students at the school study science for at least a year, but this place is the primary home of those students who study science and technology throughout their whole education. These classrooms are equipped with laboratory facilities and are also the main arena for the school's mathematical studies. Fun fact, this area also contains the school's large collection of antique stuffed birds. Here at Thomas Gymnasiet, several students study vocational programs. One of those programs is the healthcare program that has its own classroom for vocational exercises. In this room, the students have the opportunity to practice their skills before their workplace internships as an essential part of their vocational education. This is the gym hall, where students get their physical education. In addition, there is also a gym, a dancing studio at the school, and a swimming arena nearby. A lot of physical education also consists of outdoor activities, such as hiking or canoeing. This is the communal area for our department for students with additional needs. The programs here span over four years and focuses on social science and sales and services. We also have a department for students with additional needs who study at regular programs. In this building, we find the energy and electricity program and the sales and services program. Right now I'm standing in one of the workshops of the electricity program where the students do installation exercises. The curriculum contains a wide range of classes including mechatronics, energy technology and electric installations. In Sweden, it's mandatory for schools to provide free lunch for students. In our student cafeteria, we are happy to also offer a great view over Lake Malaren, one of the best views Strängnäs has to offer. Mm -hmm. 
Thomas Gymnasium is situated just outside the city centre between a forest and Lake Malanen. Tack för att du tog del av den här presentationen av Thomas Gymnasium i Strängnäs, en skola för alla.